hi guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make this simple but lovely ankara leather belt so if you're interested in such a project they don't go away so without wasting much time let's get started These are the items you are going to need to create your Ankara leather belt. First, of course, you need the leather. This is a soft leather. This is a soft leather that I'm using. I'm not using hard leather. Just choose to use soft leather. Now, this is the Ankara material I want to use. Now, the size of the Ankara material depends on how wide you want your belt to be. My belt is going to be this width. But the Ankara material is twice the width because I have to be folding the Ankara over the leather. So whatever width you want your belt to be, make that the width of your leather. And then double the width for the Ankara material that you're going to use to cover up the leather. You need, of course, your ruler for your measurement, your tape to measure your waist, measurement because you're going to need it to be able to know where to punch the first hole you need a puncher you need this to make holes on your belt when we are done scissors you need a double-sided tape a tape that can you know gum two sides this is optional but this makes life easy you know me i like easy life now i don't want stress when i'm sewing of course you need a belt buckler and you need this. This is very important. You need a rotary cutter because I use a rotary cutter to cut this. The leather doesn't come like this. It comes in bundles. So I need a rotary cutter to be able to cut that. So apart from all these items, as I said, the leather, the leather comes like so in rows. So you need a rotary cutter to be able to cut it in a very straight and sharp you know line then apart from all these items that i've already listed you need this i don't know what they call this but this is what you'll be using to hold the belt buck or whatever to be able to hold this like when you're done you know we need to put this across like so so you need something to hold it together like that. And this is where this particular set comes in. I'm using any of these to be able to hold it. I think we'll use this one to hold it together. And you're going to use need an equipment to be able to press it down to hold it together. So the first thing we need to do is to get your waist measurement. There is a belt uh, standard measurement that I'm going to show you so that you actually know once you know your waist circumference, you know the length you're going to be cutting from your leather. So this here is a short measurement guide for the length of your belt. So once you have your waist measurement, you will know exactly what length you know of a belt to cut for instance if your waist measurement is between 60 to 70 centimeters then you're going to cut a belt length of 75 to 85 centimeters now this is not cast on stone it's just a guide for you to know exactly how long to make your belt like for me this is the length of my belt and the way I got this length was from my waist circumference. My waist circumference is 90 centimeters. So I cut my belt to be 115 cm. Naturally, it should be 105. That's why I said that it's not cast on stone. But I made my 115 centimeters. So this length here is 115 centimeters. And the length of the leather is also 115 centimeters. 
Now, if you're using inches tape, just divide everything I wrote here by 2.5 to get the value in inches. A few things I want to talk about is the actual belt itself when we are done. But it's good to bear this in mind. We are going to be cutting a small loop that we are going to place next to the belt buckle once we put it in the belt when we are done. So we need a small loop which I need you to see where it's going to go to so that when I'm explaining it you pay it at the back of your mind where that came from. And of course you have an idea of where to punch your holes. This I will come back to it when we are done with the belt. Just bear it in mind. So the very first thing we are going to do, we are going to prepare the Ankara. So what I've done, I've sewn one edge of the Ankara with my sewing machine. And I left the other edge open. This is the edge I'm going to be using to put into the um, buckle of the belt. So the first thing we need to do is to get your double-sided tape. If you don't have it, I have a link below where you can buy it if you're interested in it. So we are going to, I'm going to paste just here and here, both sides of the Ankara material. So I've added my double-sided tape on both ends of the Ankara material. Please remember this is the back part of your material. So what you do, if you've been watching my videos, you know I use this a lot. So just make sure that you press it very well. That's really gummed on the material. Then, of course, we are going to remove the upper part to release, to expose another gummy part. That's it. See the gummy part. So just remove it. Very simple. Remove it completely. So I've removed it. So the next thing is just to... So I've posted the two gummy sides. Now I'll get my leather. And just place it at the edge of one of the gummy sides. So, and then bring this across on the leather. See how this step makes life easy. Makes life easy. Reduces your sewing and all that. And makes your sewing a little bit um, neat, you know, makes your pro your projects quite neat. So you're getting the points now. So once I'm done with this side, I will now take this side, fold it down, take this side, fold it like so, then just bring it across like that. So this is where I'm really going to do my sewing. I will just do my sewing like so. So let me do that and then go ahead and sew like this and also sew at the edge here just to hold the leather firmly on the Ankara. But before I go ahead to sew, you need to prepare the immediate um, belt holder. That is this, this particular one. The immediate belt is the immediate um, band that you can put your belt once you put your belt on your waist before you put it on the other belt holders on your uh, trouser or your dress. So this is how to prepare it. Just very simple. This is about three, I think three and a half centimeters. I made it three and a half centimeters. And then I cut the leather very tiny as you can see. And I've put my two double um, gummy um, tape on both sides. So once I remove this to expose the gummy area, all I have to do is just to hold it 
like so. That's all. So the length should be the length that, shall, that can cover your belt. Like this belt, after sewing it, this should be able to cover it. Should be able to go around it like this. Enough to be able to sew it here. You know, guys, I'll sew it. Once I sew it, I will now put it into the belt. So it depends on how wide your own belt is. That is how long you make it. Because I also sew down to keep it down after I've done the gumming. So let me go ahead and sew this and then sew the belt and then we'll continue. So I finished sewing the band. I've put run my stitch on both sides of my belt. Ankara leather belt. And I've also done the first belt holder. That's it. So the next thing now is for us to put the buckle. And to put the buckle, you put it on your left side. On the left side of your belt. And just do like so. Because I want to know where to put the first punch. And first, put in this. Hope you see what I'm doing. You put in the first belt holder on the left side. And then you get your you get your buckle. We are going to guess where we are going to be punching our belt so that the tongue of the buckle can pierce through it. So that's just what I'm doing. I make it such that the bottom part covers the first belt holder. The first belt holder should not be on its own. It should be covered by the fold behind. Just watch what I'm doing. So I'm just doing this to gauge where I'm going to puncture the hole for the tongue to come out. So once we are okay, once we are okay, I think that's okay for it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now, I have to get my telos chalk. I have to mark here where I'm going to hold the fold. And also I have to mark here where I'm going to be puncturing the space for the tongue of the um buckle belt buckle to pierce through so as i said just mark there give a mark there i'll put a mark there and i'll put a mark here and then we're going going to go ahead and puncture here and then i'm going to go ahead and use the belt uh, metal holder to hold it you can always decide to sew it you want if you don't have um if you don't have this this is what i'm going to use to hold this place if you don't have it you could just sew it with your machine finish and then just puncture here for the mouth of this to come out so i've punctured my material now i'm going to use the buckle i'll just put the buckle right so, they bring out the tongue of the bottle to the punctured hole. <clears throat> so, that is it. So, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to join this to this. And I'm going to be using this, my punching set. <clears throat> I'm going to be using this and this. And of course, this comes with the set too. Looks like an owl comes with the set. But if you don't have, as I said, if you don't have the set, you can just sew here with your machine needle. <clears throat> so what I'll do first, I have to give, put some holes where I want to do it. This thing is very sharp. See, 
comes out the other side put some holes there in the two places i want to use it be very careful with your fingers though, because the thing is so sharp if it pierces you hmm, you're on your own so once i have my holes my holes are ready okay so this is where this this is how this works you just put the one you want to be on top through that hole this is the one that is going to be showing on top of the belt make sure it enters through the hole If it doesn't enter very well, I have to make sure I open that hole again. Okay, it has entered. Look for the second hole on the second material. And just make sure that it enters. It's proofing difficult, so I have to open the hole again. So try to push it to the other side of it. That's the one part of it. Try to make sure it goes through the hole, you know, and you can see the mouth at the other end of it. If you don't see the mouth, just use your pointer or your owl and make sure that you press down the edges of the material, you know, to ensure that it comes out very well on the opposite end. Okay, once you're done with that, you now get the second part of it. This is what it looks like. And then just press it there ensure that it's sitting well at least you can see the mouth of the other one coming out from it so when you're done with that now comes this the shiny part stays on the bottom of it so it's going to be like this, right? So put it there. At first it might look difficult to, but it's not. Just ensure that the two will sit very well on the mouth of this uh, presser. Just like that. You can see it. So all we have to do is to press it down. So press it down very well to ensure that to hold it. Press it down very well. Okay. And that's it. That's it. So I'll go ahead and do the second one. Then we'll be. So I'm done with the head of the belt. So you can see that the belt is ready and it's looking quite cute. That is our first belt holder that the belt will pass through. And then I've held this together. As I said, if you don't have this, you can sew it if you want. But still, this makes it look a little bit, you know, a little bit nicer. As you can see. So now we are going to be puncturing the holes for our belt. And how do we do that? I bring back my diagram. Remember the diagram? So, the last hole should be about 10 centimeters from the edge. So, that's the very first thing we are going to do. Measure your 10 centimeters from the edge of the belt. 10 centimeters. And just mark where we are going to have the, the last hole. So this is where the last hole is going to be and i said you can separate your holes by about two to four centimeters depends between two and four centimeters is okay for you to space your holes but now the first hole the very first hole is going to be where you have the tightest fit when you're putting on your belt now my waist circumference is 90. 
So I'll put my very first hole on 86 centimeters. The reason I'm doing that is that sometimes you might want your belt to be tighter than your real waist circumference. The size, when you measure your waist for sewing, it's quite different if you're tying your belt. So I just take out 4 centimeters backwards from my waist circumference and put my first hole on the belt. So I'll just measure from this side of the belt, from here, I measure from here. So I know where I'm going to do my first puncture. So I said I'm going to put it on 86 cm. So I'm going to start my first puncture right here. Mark it. Good. So between here and here, let me just... Between the first and the last, let me see how many centimeters I have. So between the first and the last, I have about 18 centimeters. So if I did about six holes, I can punch out three, three centimeters in between. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Let me bring it, okay? So between the first, where I'm going to do the first hole and the last hole, I'm having 18 centimeters. So I can decide to make it six holes that means i'm going to make it three three centimeters apart i can make it uh four holes so it depends maybe three and a half three and a half centimeters apart so it depends on you as i said from my diagram here you could use between two to four centimeters to separate your holes so let me do that I've marked where I'm going to be doing my puncturing. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five holes on my belt. So let me go ahead. This is what we are going to be using. I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be using this to make my holes. So the very first thing I'll do, I'll just get the center of the belt. Just get the center of the belt, quite simply. And then I'll just puncture at the center. I'll make my holes using this owl at the center. So once you're done with using your owl to make your holes, you know, you've marked your holes with your owl. So what you do now, you use this um, hole puncher. You can get this on Amazon. I got it from Amazon. Well, so you just go to where you did your holes and just place it exactly at that point and then just press. Do you hear a snap? So you now remove the material there. So see how nice it looks now. So that's exactly what you do for the other three holes or four holes remaining. Put it directly at that point and then press. And you hear the snap, remove it, and then that. So those are our holes. So with this, I've come to the end of this video on our Ankara uh, leather belt. It's quite easy to make. So if you have any challenges, don't hesitate to comment. Try your hands on it. It's not that difficult. As I said, you don't need to have this. You can sew it with your sewing machine. All you need is to buy this from any uh, craft making shop. You can buy it. Or if you want to buy it through my own link, I have my amazon link below if you're interested you could click it and um, buy it so thank you so much for watching i hope your belt turns out as beautiful as mine in the next video i'll just try it on and you see how it fits and i hope you'll try your hands on it so till next time until next video ciao